Hey guys, David here from Gogoo 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7. I've gotten several requests for this video, so I thought I'd go ahead and make it. I'm going to be installing Windows 7 Home Premium, but the steps are the same for any version of Windows 7. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your Windows 7 DVD handy. You're going to want to go ahead and put it in the drive on your computer, and then boot from the disk. Most computers will boot from the disk automatically when it detects a disk in there, but some of them do have a hotkey that you will need to use to boot from the disk. Most of the time, this hotkey is the escape key, the F2 key, or the F12 key. Sometimes these keys will also bring up menus which will let you select what drive you boot from, and just select your CD drive. But anyways, once you start booting from the DVD, you should be able to see this. Windows is loading files. Now this might take a little while, so I'll come back when this is done. Okay, now once that is gone, you should see starting Windows and eventually the Windows logo will pop up and Windows 7 will start to boot to the setup. Okay, now once it is done loading, you should get to this screen. You're just going to need to select your language, so my language is obviously English. And you can customize this if you want, but most likely is just the default. So go ahead and click next. And go ahead and click install now. You should see setup is starting and it might take a minute for the setup to load. Okay, now you'll get to the license agreement, which most people don't read anyways, but you can read it if you want, but just go ahead and click I accept to license in term or to the license terms and click next. Next, you're going to want to click Custom Advanced. Upgrade will upgrade from an older version of Windows. If that's what you're planning on doing, go ahead and click Upgrade. But if you just want a fresh install of Windows 7, click Custom. Okay, now once you get to here, you should see several drives. And if you only see one, that's okay. But you're, wanna go, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click Drive Options down here. And you're gonna wanna select each one that there is and hit the Delete button. Unless you know what you're doing, then don't hit delete. But if you just want a clean install of Windows 7, you don't need to worry about any partitioning or anything. Just select each drive and hit delete. Okay, and once you have done that, you should see just one drive. You're going to want to click new. It'll show you a size here, just click apply. And this might come up, just click okay. And wait for the new drive to be created. Okay, now you should see two drives here. You should see a 100 megabyte drive, which is system reserved. And you should see your other drive, which is whatever amount of gigabytes that you used. So you're gonna wanna select the one that you want to install Windows on and click format. Click okay, and wait for the drive to format. Okay, once it's completed formatting, once again, just select the drive that you're installing Windows 7 to, which is most likely the bigger one, and click next. And now it's installing Windows 7 on that drive. So this part will take a while, so we'll just leave that and I'll come back when that's done. Your computer might restart several times throughout the process, but that is okay. Okay, now that part of the setup has completed and my computer has restarted a few times. And once it is um, completely finished, you'll be brought to this section. So it's gonna ask you to type a username and this will be the username that you will use to log into the computer. So since my name is David, I'll just type in, I'm just going to type in David. And you could type in a computer name and since I am doing this in VirtualBox at the moment, I'll just name it VirtualBox. But you can name your computer whatever you want. So this is the name that you are logging into the computer with and this is the actual computer's name. Once you've typed those in, you can go ahead and click next, and it's going to ask you to type a password for that username that you put before. So, for example, mine was David, so I'm going to type in a password. I'll just make my password David again. And it's going to also ask you to type a password hint, and it says it's required, but I personally hate password hints. So normally what I do is I just put, I just press space, and there won't be a real password hint, but you could type a real password hint in there if you'd like and you could go ahead and click next. And now you will need to type in your product key. Uh, you can activate Windows when you're online or not. That's completely up to you. You can check this box if you want or not. But you're going to need to put in your product key and I'll come back when I am done that. Okay, so after you enter in your product key, you are going to be sent to this page. Now, this is the page where you will choose your settings for Windows updates. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click use the recommended settings. But if you know what you're doing, you could choose either one of these. So now it's gonna ask me to set my time. So I'm in the Eastern time zone in Canada. 
where is it? Eastern. And that time isn't right. It's actually 8, 802. Once you've done that, click next. Select your computer's current location. I'm running on home network. You can choose work or public. Just read what they do. Um, home basically lets you share everything. Work lets you share most things and public, it really keeps your computer secure. But you don't want to use public if you're in your house because that you might run into problems with your network. So I'm just going to go ahead and click home network. So as you can see, my computer is up and running. So you'll see this welcome message and it'll say it's preparing your desktop. And there we go. So Windows 7 is now installed and is up and running. So if you didn't choose to activate Windows Online um, in the setup, then you're going to need to activate within 30 days by going to start, right clicking computer, going to properties and waiting for this part to come up. Then you can scroll all the way down and all you need to do is click this and it'll show you the different options to activate Windows. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and like Go Good 55 Tech Tutorials on Facebook and follow Go Good 55 Tech Tutorials on Twitter. Also rate, comment and subscribe and all the links for everything are in the description. Also go ahead and check out my website at gogood55techtutorials.co.nr.